Well, I am back in my happy place. And it feels so good to be back. Uh, I'm back out on the tundra in Alaska. Uh, I just got dropped off by the float plane. Uh, this is my third year in a row, I think. Uh, yeah, third year coming back to this same spot. Um, I just love it out here and headed to my spot that I usually camp at. Um, I've got some very specific goals this year for exploration and photography, which I guess I will touch on later, but yeah, I'm just hiking across the tundra right now, getting to my, uh, my spot that I usually camp at. It's a little bit windy right now, which is awesome. I've come to love that. Uh, first year I was out here, I didn't, didn't care for the wind so much. First few days, but by the end of that trip, I just I love it. So uh, I actually see my camp spot right now. And uh, I'm going to go set up, go look for some bears. All right. Let's, uh, let's get this set up. can't even begin to express how good it feels to be back here. I just, I absolutely love it out here. This is an annual trip for me. I've made it an annual trip and it's possibly my favorite trip that I do each year. It's, uh, it's come by quick. Um, I feel like I was I was here just not not too long ago. It's weird to think it's been a year already, but I am just I'm so excited to be back. I just I love it out here. I yeah, I I just can't even express how much I love it out here. Uh got my camp all set up just right right way down there. I don't know if you can see that my little tent down there uh, but yeah I got all set up um, I got here it was like just after 10 that I got here 10 in the morning and I hadn't eaten this morning um, didn't get breakfast so I boiled some water after I got set up and I'm up here on the little knoll that I cook on uh, I'm just waiting for my breakfast to cook and I'll get some breakfast and then I'll go out and look for bears And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can see. Uh, I saw a couple bears uh, When we were flying in I was just you know scouting the ground a little bit saw a couple bears uh, Not as many as I've seen in the past. So uh, We'll we'll see how many there are this year um, I heard a couple bears kind of fighting down by the river um, when I was setting up my camp so we'll see we'll see what they're doing but uh yeah each year is so different out here the first year I came out here there's bears everywhere it was insane how many bears there were and uh, last year when I was here it I mean there were a few bears here and there but um, that, I mean still a lot but nothing compared to the year before and there were a lot less fish last year compared to the year before so uh, I'm curious to see what it's like this year uh, last year also it was very warm out here and uh, there wasn't a lot of water in the, the river it seemed so uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what it's like this year. Uh, as soon as I've eaten, I'm gonna go out, do a little scouting, and 
see what we can find. Um, other than bears, I also would like to do some more ptarmigan. Uh, that's one of my favorite birds and one of the highlights every year of my trip out here is looking for ptarmigan. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we can find. And also last year when I was out here, I saw a bunch of caribou tracks. So I would like to dedicate a um, couple afternoons when I go out scouting, just looking for tracks and uh, exploring some new area that I, I explored last year and saw a lot of that caribou activity in there. Uh, so I'm uh, planning on spending some, some time looking for caribou this year. So uh, yeah, again, just super, super good to be back. So excited. And uh, yeah, let's eat so we can go see what we can find. Well, I found the welcoming committee. Let's see, we've got... Um, four, four bears that I can see right now. Let's see. Probably hard to see. Um, there's two sitting right there. There's one a little bit farther down. And then you've got this guy right here. I don't know if you can see him. He's laying down here on the grass. But yeah, um, four bears right here. So uh, I guess that's a good sign. I saw another two or three just down the river over there. A lot of seagulls hanging around too. And I've seen some fish, some salmon splashing around in the river. So um, yeah, it's looking good. These bears look fat and happy. It's good to see. Just spending some time down here with these uh, bears. They've been fishing for a while. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just fun watching them. There's there were three quite large males down here. Uh, only two of them are here now. One of them went off to take a nap or something. But they're catching quite a few fish. It's it's pretty cool. I I don't know if I've ever seen bears catch this many fish just one after another. Um, I mean, I've been watching them now for probably like two hours and it's like maybe every five minutes or so they catch a fish, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just fun watching them. Uh, fishing bears has always been one of my uh, top, like, top of my list 
photography scenarios. Um, it's something I've wanted for years and years, and last year was pretty much the first year I was able to get some decent, decent photos. And this year is, I mean, I'm not even one day into this trip yet, and it's it's been pretty awesome so far. So I am pretty excited. Uh, light's getting pretty harsh right now, but uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay here with these bears and and uh, watch them. Even if I can't take any pictures, I'm just gonna sit and watch them and enjoy enjoy the moment. What an awesome day I have had so far. Cooking my dinner right now. Cooking a little, uh, little spaghetti. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll eat here in a little bit and then I'll head back out for another few hours. It's, uh, it's about seven o'clock right now. Um, so the lights, lights getting really good. Um, it's gonna be light for another like four-ish hours, uh, three and a half, four hours, usable light for photography. So yeah, I'll head back out after I eat for another few hours. And then uh, yeah, around 11 o'clock, I'll come back and head to bed. Some mosquitoes out here um, yeah awesome day spent a lot of time with those bears um, that were fishing earlier I thought I had only been with them for like two and a half hours or so but uh, it turns out that I spent over four hours with them who'd have known um, <laughs> time flies but uh yeah, I'm gonna go back out, see if they're there again. There's another fishing spot that I found last year. I'm gonna go check, see if there's any bears there. And uh, if they're not, I, I'm i just gonna walk the river, uh, maybe head out into the tundra a little bit, see what I can find. Uh, it's, yeah, beautiful, beautiful day. It's cleared up a lot, uh, but there's some clouds that are starting to come back in. So 
like a little bit of rain tonight. I don't know. It's supposed to be rainy most of the week. So I'm just enjoying the clear weather while it lasts because I don't know how much I'm going to get on this trip. Um, I've seen a couple ptarmigan in the area. They're pretty skittish, these ones that I've been seeing, this little family group. But uh, I ran into one group last year that seemed really skittish and then I ran into another group or two that literally would walk right up to me too close for me to even focus with my uh, camera so I'm gonna see what different groups I can find and hopefully we'll uh, get some cool ptarmigan pictures and maybe some videos all right I'm gonna eat dinner now and head back out I am super excited right now. Uh, it's getting pretty late in the evening. I uh, ate my dinner, came out, started walking the river, and uh, I was able to find a group of ptarmigan. That was really cool. They uh, got pretty close to me, came right up actually. I was able to get some uh, pictures and a little bit of video. They uh, then went into some willows, and uh, I don't know if they're if they bedded down for the evening or what, but. I left them, came up the river a little bit, and there's some bears fishing back here. Um, they're uh, just kind of sitting there in the water right now, so they're not doing a whole lot. But what I'm most excited about actually is in front of me, you're not going to be able to see it, uh, what I'm talking about, but uh, I'll kind of try to show you and tell you anyways. But uh, I came up here to spot this mountain a little bit. And uh, that mountain out there, about halfway up, there is a little patch of snow. And on that patch of snow, there is actually a caribou. So uh, I was just spotting with my telephoto lens and I saw this little tiny, tiny dot. And so I took a picture, zoomed all the way in on that picture. And it's still a teeny, teeny, tiny dot, but I'm able to see that it's actually a caribou. So super excited. Uh, that's one of my main goals this trip actually is to try to photograph some caribou or at least find out like where they really like to hang out in this area uh, so I can keep coming back and try to get some pictures of them while I'm out here with the bears. But uh, super excited so now that I know there's one up there that means there's probably more up there and uh, n the fact that I know that there's one up there means that I'll be hiking that mountain tomorrow so um, I'll uh, head up probably in the afternoon tomorrow just to kind of scout things out see if I can find any tracks and uh, maybe even spot some caribou that would be so cool all right, I'm going to get back with these bears in the river. Uh, hopefully some uh, fishing action will pick up here in a little bit. But yeah, just thought I'd fill you in. Okay.
morning. It's a beautiful overcast morning this morning. Um, we got some rain last night and earlier this morning. But uh, despite that, I slept incredibly well. Uh, usually when it rains, I'm up every, you know, little bit. Um, every hour or so, and then I have to fall back asleep and everything. But uh, last night, I, I slept incredibly well, which was good because for the past few weeks now, I've just been just exhausted. Um, haven't been sleeping terribly great so um, yeah it was good to get some really good sleep last night so uh, it's very overcast right now but it has stopped raining so I'm getting some water filtered I'll get that boiled get some breakfast cooked get my contacts in and uh, then I will head out and look for some animals I heard some ptarmigan calling uh, above me just maybe like 10 minutes ago I think it's the family group that's super skittish because that's where they went up to last night but um, yeah we'll go see what we can find uh, whether it's uh, ptarmigan or bears or caribou or uh, wolverine no, I'm just kidding um, you know whatever it is we'll go see what we can find and hopefully get some cool pictures If you couldn't tell, it's currently raining quite a bit. Well, here we are. Uh, evening of day two here and uh, just cooking some dinner right now pretty hungry I uh, been doing a lot of hiking around looking for animals so I'm burning through my food real real quick or my uh, burning through my energy rather um, got some a uh, lentil and bean and rice dish tonight and I'll wrap it all up in some awesome tortilla goodness. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty excited for that. So, yeah, uh, today, 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 let's see. I went out this morning and it's been pretty slow all day, but I went out this morning, found a bear that was fishing. I uh, watched him pull a salmon out. That's the only bear, I think, today that I've been able to get fishing. Uh, all the other bears that I've seen, uh, whether it's down by the river or out on the tundra or whatever, they're just kind of sitting, um, not doing a whole lot. So uh, there have been a lot less bears today than I saw yesterday. I'm not sure. Um, why that is or where they all went but yesterday I think I counted um, 16 bears was the most I saw at one time granted a bunch of those were you know half a mile away or whatever but um, today I mean there's been a lot less and all the bears that I have found they've just been been sitting uh, haven't been able to find any ptarmigan today either and then this afternoon it got uh, super windy and rainy and uh, a bunch of clouds and fog rolled in so I didn't go on my hike looking for caribou because uh, you couldn't even see the mountain so there was no point hiking up there when uh, I wouldn't have even been able to see anything so uh it's still covered with with some fog but uh yeah once we get some sun again maybe tomorrow or the next day whenever that is i'll be heading out there to try to find some caribou so yeah just uh waiting for this dinner to cook i'll uh eat that it's about 7 30 right now and then i'll go back out and look for some bears again 
until about uh, 9.30 or 10 probably. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Peaceful as this. I'm here eating my dinner. Got this beautiful lake in front of me, these beautiful clouds. I can hear the birds in the distance. Got my little camp down here. It's just gorgeous. Can't get enough of it. Such a beautiful place. I'm so glad to be here. I can't can't even say how how happy I am to be here. Just soaking in the moment right now.